Welcome to the latest NBA Home Mission video. We're here at Beacon Loft Baptist Church in Gateshead to tell stories of what has been possible here thanks to a Home Mission grant. Over the last two years, the church, thanks to Home Mission, has been able to appoint Bob Adams to be their minister. And through Bob's leading and Bob's ministry leading the church forwards, the church has been able to see uh, new possibilities, God doing new things in mission. Amongst other things, the church is now no longer needing home mission support because it's been able to grow its finance base. So let's enjoy testimonies of what God has been doing here in Gateshead. Yeah, very encouraged actually. It's been quite an exciting two years. Lots of things happening, um, as one would expect, you know, and certainly in your first year to see some new developments happening. But really what's been most encouraging is that there's been a confirmation um, that we're meant to be here because a lot of things that have been happening are things that have happened in the past that have actually been put to bed for a while. And so the church is revisiting its toolbox. And so we're, we're doing things that we used to do with a, a new slant, if you like. So that's really quite exciting. It's encouraged me also, like in every Sunday, because of my children say we have to go for Sunday school. Is it Sunday? Hurry up, mom. We have to go for Sunday school. We don't want to miss out on the Sunday school. That's why it encouraged me on every Sunday morning for my children because they really wanted to be on Sunday school. And I believe it's not them. It is the Holy Spirit who is working in them for us to come to worship the Lord on Sunday. We recently started Girls' Brigade. And it was very encouraging to see we had over 20 girls come on the first night and they've been coming back ever since and really getting enthusiastic about learning stories about Jesus. And they just wanted to be part of it. And I think I was more surprised that the parents were willing to come every week and bring their, their girls and how, how much they wanted to get involved. And some kids were telling their friends and we had to say, I don't think we, have, <laughs> we don't have room because we weren't expecting as big a takeoff as it was. The church is getting stronger. There's a lot of things being negative about the church, but when you see young people getting so involved, it's fantastic to see, it's brilliant. And it strengthens your faith. And the church, the home church, this church, has always been a strength to me. And it's fantastic. It just gets better and better. And when I walked in the door, the amount of people who came, there was Unbelievable. It was just like coming home. And I just said to myself, well, why have I been so frightened to come back? And it's taken me 60 years to come back. And I've never left. I can't get enough of the place, you know? And after a year and a half, we were moved to see our local specialist. And we had a little chat to the doctor then, and I asked him if it was all right that we would pray for him because we think that the reason why Oscar hasn't developed RB is because of the power of prayer. And surprisingly enough, the doctor turned around and said, yes, please, I'd like that. So since then, we've been praying for him. And um, Oscar will be two in a couple of days' time, and he is still all clear. It doesn't mean that he will it doesn't mean that he won't develop retinoblastoma. There's still a little chance that he will, but it is a very little chance. And the fact that he hasn't developed it so far is a straightforward miracle. And to anyone who doesn't believe in the power of prayer, I would say there's a 99% chance that they are wrong. So yeah, it's our personal little miracle. I think what you're seeing here at the church is God at work changing people one life at a time. Whether it's the a young person is in Girls' Brigade who's just started to come here, or an older person who's been coming for years and years, but they're, they're really being blessed by meeting together on a Monday with Irene. It's just really, it's encouraging, really, to hear how God is transforming people's lives here in this community. Isn't it fantastic to hear these wonderful stories from the people of Beaconloft Baptist Church about the wonderful things that God has been doing in their lives over the years? And isn't it also wonderful to hear that you have been supporting them through your giving and your prayers, so much so that they've been able to call a pastor, that you've been able to support them financially over the years, and that this church has grown uh, in the grace of God. We thank you for all of your giving. We thank you for all of your support. 
and we also thank you for your giving financially to Home Mission so that the churches of the Northern Baptist Association can be supported by that fund. Thank you.